Hi folks, welcome to part two of our mining ep of our episode. Um, we are ready to start talking, but first we have something to say. We are sorry to um, this the guy we were talking about in the other episode who asked about his mob spawning in his house and we forgot to answer his question. So we're going to answer his question and our answer is if you're listening out there you need to hear this um what we like to do is we cover our whole entire base with torches everywhere because mobs are do not spawn in light places another thing we like to do is do it underground this isn't like under underground but it's underground um Sometimes it could be a glitch, and they just keep popping in, but torches is all we know about right now, so I hope and that's helpful. The other thing that, that works, too, if you can do it, if you can find them are um, those uh, links or those cats. What are they called? Uh, oh, yeah, ocelots. Yeah, ocelots. If you can find ocelots and tame them for, as cats, they work great, too. And a lot of mobs don't like dogs, so if you can find some and tame the wolves into dogs, dog ocelots work. Dogs and cats really great Minecraft for keeping the mobs away. Yep. Alrighty. But the one thing about dogs is they do not like creepers. They like all the mobs except creepers, but cats like creepers. So if you can get your hands on both of the animals, that would be great. All right, so let's get back to our video. Come okay. on. Did you uh, get the, the iron out? Oh, yeah, I put it in the chest. Oh, okay, which one? Uh, uh, the other one. Okay, okay. and let's, uh, let me make a couple bolts. Yeah, I'm going to make a hotel. All right, folks, if you're watching this, so you if you've seen our gardening episode, then you know how to make a hoe. Uh, we just put the sticks here and here. Okay, Good. let's get started. So first, okay. we before we started this video, we went down and made stairs to do this. Put this place, a little place with. You need to make sure there's enough spaces for water and gaps for the plants. And we are going to start that. So I'm just going to start right to it. And when you're trying to do this, you right click your button. You right click your mouse. And that will make your, uh, the water or the soil ready to put one, in. One thing that we didn't tell you is, uh, in order to, uh, uh, get the water going down here and just use one bucket if you'll take and put a bunch of dirt blocks all together like this and then and then dig out one triangle or one block and then perpendicular dig out another one then you can take and put water in one I'll go get water and put in the other one and it's and it's it's uh, everlasting you can keep drawing from it and it doesn't run down. We should. Those things are very helpful. So you have, so you have two waters just like that. And then go ahead and dig those out. Okay. Now you can take water out and just it doesn't it doesn't go down. You just keep. It's everlasting. So then another cool thing is as as the go down, when you see the still water like that, you can take water out of B and from the same take more water. So um there Here's, here's this bucket. Why don't you show them what I'm talking about? Uh-huh. Okay, here's that. So what Grandpa was trying to say is 
when you see the water flatten out and not like curved, mm, yep. take the water out of the part that looks straight and fill in the parts that don't look straight. Yep. And just keep doing that until your whole row looks nice and straight. That's when you know you've done a good job. Yep. And then down down here, <clears throat> just go ahead and dig out the dirt. Fill, fill the row back in. There you go. Yep. And if you've seen our gardening episode, then you know how to plant the seeds and how to know when to harvest them. And you know how, if you've watched it, you know how to get the seeds by breaking grass. If you haven't seen that, check it out on our YouTube channel, GMG Minecraft. Um, yeah, so we just, what Grandpa's doing is he's hoeing out the, hoeing out the dirt just like a real farmer would do so he can so we can harvest so we can plant our crops and once your garden is fully fully done it's very pretty now yeah, the reason, and why tell the reason why we like to do that around because the, the garden, you know, how it grows like twice as fast. Yeah, we always do our gardens underwater, underground, because it does it a lot faster. It um, faster. Also, just like planting flowers, our gardens need lots and lots of light. So as you see, I've put up torches all through here to light yep. up our way. And for the flower, on for our plants. So I think that's it. Uh, oh, one more thing. Uh, don't jump on the thing. Jump on the dirt or else it'll do that. And uh, also, for, also, one thing is sometimes, do you see how some of the soil is darker and some is lighter? Well, that is because the, the water soaked in the one, uh, how do I explain this? If the seeds are planted in the space that is not very dark, it's going to pop out because it's not wet enough. And, and sometimes it's because you don't have enough light either. You need a torch there. Yeah. So, yep. so I think that's it. I think so. Thank you for coming to GMG Minecraft. Our third episode about gardening and i hope you come to our future episodes we have an announcement that wednesday and thursday gavin's going to be joining us so we hope that's going to be fun thank you